to what God will do with my life. I'll be moving on. I'm moving on. I'm moving on. Good morning. We are off to Starbucks. It's Sunday morning. And yeah, that's what I'm doing. I feel good today. And it's probably due to Kirk Franklin. Because for some reason I was strolling. I don't know why I was looking at my Facebook profile. But I was strolling down my Facebook profile. <clears throat> and I happened upon the smile video that he did with Fantasia, Jonathan McReynolds, um, Kelly Price, and... I forgot the other lady's name, which I should remember her because she's related to somebody that I know, but I can't think of her name right now. And I love that video. So I had that on repeat this morning and it just does something to my soul. So I really like that. And then of course, John, what really drew me to it was Jonathan McReynolds. I didn't know who he was when I first saw that video. So then I went and looked him up to see who he was. And I don't really like all of his music, but that song Moving On, I really like that. That's more like down home gospel to me. It's not as contemporary as some of his stuff. And I probably would get into it if I listened to it um, more. I just listened to the samples from his People album this morning just the samples just to see what they were but I think moving on is my favorite so I'm probably be listening to that the rest of the day and I'm gonna get just uh, iced Americano and come back home I edited another vlog video that I am I was supposed to be uploading while I was gone, but I guess I'll do it when I get back. I think I got sidetracked and did something else and forgot to go ahead and start the upload. But nevertheless, it can be done when I get back. When I get back, it doesn't really take that long for them to upload to YouTube anyway. Really, the bulk of the time is processing, turning it into an MP4. So that's not that bad. I don't know what we're eating today. I know I'm not ordering anything. We might be on a scavenger hunt in the kitchen. I don't know. And nothing's, nothing has come to mind. Nothing has tickled my fancy. So. That's how it is when it's hot for me though. It's hard for me to think of what to cook when it's really hot because I don't know. I already know it's gonna be like a sweat fest in the kitchen. And I did comb my hair this morning. Hopefully you can tell. <laughs> I actually used a giant tooth comb so it kind of breaks the curls up and makes it more like an afro instead of a matted up curl, messy curl thing. I don't know. I don't like it like this, but I was just like, let me comb my hair out before I end up with dreadlocks unintentionally. I should probably do a co-wash tonight, but I didn't know. Let's see if my energy level remains for the rest of the day. Maybe I should get up and listen to um, Kirk Franklin every morning before I even get out of the bed. Just listen to that. I know um, that happy song did me like that too. Maybe I should just make myself a Get Your Day Started playlist with all the songs that gives, give me the good vibes. And I posted an article because that song, it gives me chills sometimes when I listen to it. It's so good. And I Googled why do you get chills when you listen to music. And I found an article that explained it in depth. Why I needed to know that, I don't know. I just wanted to know. But I posted it on my Facebook profile. I think it's, um, I think most of my posts are public, so 
if you can find me on Facebook, you'll see. Maybe I should start posting that stuff on Twitter too. Huh. Like anybody on Twitter cares. They're too busy arguing and fighting with each other and being rude. Yeah, when I get back, I'm gonna finish. I'm gonna try and finish editing all of the vlogs. I was gonna. Oh, somebody's vehicle. Is that us? <laughs> the smell. I think I'm gonna buy that single. That way Alexa can put it on repeat for me. It would be so nice if we could play music while we are on live. Well, and not get copyright not get a copyright strike. Um or even in a video, but you can't, not unless you wanna get a copyright strike get your channel snatched down. I know I'm starting to back up my channel. It's going to take a long time, but I'm going to try and do it. And I'm also doing flashback, no, not flashback Friday, throwback Thursdays. And I got the 30 most viewed plan with me videos. I picked those out the other day. I took a screenshot of the 30 most viewed and I'm counting them down through the end of the year on Thursdays on my Instagram and in the Facebook group, um, yeah, so that I can, that'll be 30 of my videos that'll be downloaded. <laughs> um, yeah. Oh, the last season of Supernatural comes out Friday. The last season? Yes. It's the last? They really going away? Why? I don't know. Oh, I'm so sad. They were so good. I mean, not good, but they hung in there for so long. Okay, we got our beverages. Now we're heading back to the his house. There's, oh, they standing out there for social distancing. You see? Mm -hmm. oh, 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 you look so much better when you. So, yeah, and it was kind of surprising. If you haven't seen that video, it's also on my profile. Um, and I think I put it in my stories today, but it'll be gone probably by the time you see this. But, um, yeah, uh, Tyrese is in it. And I don't know how I feel about that. I used to really, really like Tyrese. I mean, I wasn't like a fangirl, but I liked his music. And I remember him from the Coca-Cola days singing on the bus. So, yeah, I remember him from then. And I just thought he could sing so well. But he just talks too much. He gets himself in trouble. He talks too much. He should just shut up and sing. <laughs> I mean, really, he should. He just be doing too much. So, that makes me feel a different way about him because of some of the stuff he says. Just how he acts. Like he's all that in a bag of chips. But I guess if he don't think it, nobody else will, huh? Mercy for goodness. I had a 
friend calling me from Jacksonville this morning. They've been calling me all week. That somebody that I don't really want to have anything to do with. Because <laughs> they need to get their life together. And so they were calling this morning. And then they text to tell me it was them like I didn't know. And that they were in town and would like to see me. For what? I don't want to talk. So, of course, I just ignored it. And then they called again. But that confirmed. I kind of thought it might have been somebody else that I know in um, Jacksonville. But it wasn't them. It was the other person. Well, I know a couple of people that have Jacksonville area codes. So, that. And here I am. I, I don't even know if they have my address or not. But I'm looking out the window to make sure nobody pops up. Because it would be just my luck. They pop up while I'm walking by the front door. And you can kind of see through these two little windows. Not that it would matter. Because really, if I don't want to answer the door, it don't matter if you know I'm there or not. I'm not answering the door. I hope that's decaf. Because it sure is strong. If it's not... I'm gonna be in bad shape this afternoon. Oh, they were protesting here last night too. Um, downtown area. They um, the 408 is a toll road. It's a very busy toll road, and so is I-4. Interstate 4 isn't a toll road, but it's crazy busy plus there's lots of construction they were they had um the 408 blocked i think for a period of time they were protesting on i-4 and then there were like two different groups and they met up at the courthouse downtown but i don't think it was anything you know nothing bad happened i know um the mall at millennia one of the more high-end malls over in that area a lot of the stores had some vandalism and damage but they're saying it wasn't associated with the protests which is I'm glad they're recognizing that that wasn't associated with the protests so that's good Back in my younger days, let's see, how old is Julia? Probably 10 years ago, I would be more inclined to go out there and join in the protests. I don't know. I'm, I'm, I don't know. <laughs> my oldest daughter was going to go yesterday, but then it started raining, so she decided not to go. She, you don't play around in the thundering and the lightning in the lightning capital of the world. <laughs> so... I don't know. I think I think I just feel defeated at this point. And I'm just I've I've worried about it really since Katrina when Katrina happened that opened my eyes and that just did something to me. I mean, I was so upset that I wanted to get in my car and go there to help. I was very upset. And after that, I kind of just, I don't know, unplugged myself from my own mental health. I can't take it. I can't take it. And I don't know if I have something wrong with me, but I just try not to feel anything too much about that because I get way too deep off in it and a, a lot of that is why I don't watch the news like I used to I used to watch the news all day every day I don't watch the news like that anymore I just like catch you know the highlights and then I'm done with it um yeah that Katrina I was thinking about it last night why am I like that? Why don't I, why do I try to disconnect from that stuff? Because of how I felt during Katrina. I could not believe 
that they just left those people in I they can't just believe they just left them in the, that or auditorium arena whatever it was called I couldn't believe it I couldn't believe that they weren't rescuing people I just they weren't helping they weren't sending help they didn't do anything and people were just dying bodies floating down the street I just couldn't believe it so yeah so the stuff that happens now I don't I don't feel very shocked by it and maybe I hate that it's probably normal to younger people it's not normal to me it's just it's more um, visible now It's hard to discuss. So many more people, like, online, on Instagram that I follow. I, I just kind of repost what they are saying because they say it so much more eloquently than I can. I mean, like my oldest son, he decided, he's, he moved out last this past week and moved to another city. In the middle of a pandemic and with all of this going on, that's worrisome. So now, I mean, I worried about him being here, but now I worry even more. And I'm just like, you need to be very, very careful because that's a good hop, skip, and a jump away. And I can't rescue you right away. If, if things look funny, if you feel like something's not right, you need to come home. Don't wait and try to see nothing. And don't have any involvement with the police. None whatsoever. You make sure you not riding dirty and all, no. <laughs> you make sure you got your license straight. You make sure you got your registration. And even if you do, that still don't mean anything. I, may, I told him to make sure you get triple A and just stay home. <laughs> Go to school, stay home. Go to work. Just be careful. That's worrisome. And I think with all of this that's happened, that just made me worry even more. Who is this? Oh, is that Jazz? No, that ain't Jazz. Who is this? I hope they over there with them people. All right. Uh, that is it. I'm home. I will catch y'all next time. Stay safe. Bye.